Hey, what's up everybody? It's Evan here for Transplant Gamer, and today I have a little haul for you guys. There's one thing that I bought, and there's another thing that my brother Dan got me. So, I'm going to start off with what I got, and that is a Blackout Yeti Blue Streaming Mic. And I'm really excited to get this and get better quality mic for streaming. What I've been using for streaming is just my AirPods. I've been using the microphone on my AirPods. So I'm really excited to get this and use it during streaming. Really, really excited. And so I'm going to flip the camera and we'll unbox this. Been thinking about getting a good quality streaming mic for a while. And I, today was finally the day to get one. This was not planned. I just, I went into GameStop and saw it. And I grabbed it. This was not a planned purchase. And for what it was going for, I just couldn't pass it up. Move you guys down here. Let's pull this out. All right, that box over there. Let's get this open. And here we go. Right off the top is the USB core. Instructions. Take this out. And there is the mic. Look at this. Get rid of that. And here it is, guys. The Blue Yeti Mic Blackout Mic. Move all this packaging. And here it is. It is so cool after all this time to finally have a real streaming mic. This is really awesome. And I can't wait to use this on the live stream. Tighten this up a little. There we go. So this is now the mic I'm going to be using on live streams. And maybe I'll start doing reaction videos, who knows, to game trailers, I don't know. That's just something that just popped into my head right now, looking at it. And here is... Right here is the USB cord. Which I don't, shouldn't have to explain, I don't think. And this is my new streaming mic. I'm really, really excited to test this out on stream. And hopefully you guys are excited as well. That I have better quality equipment for live streaming. And there it is. The Blackout Yeti Blue Microphone. And I'm really excited to have this for streaming and YouTube videos and all that. I think this will mostly be used for streaming. Not really YouTube videos unless, you know, like I said, I start doing reaction videos or something, which I highly doubt my channel will go down that road. So there is the Blue Yeti microphone. And I'll be right back with 
the game my brother got me from Japan. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so I'm back. And the next item is a game my brother Dan got me on his trip to Japan. And that is Mickey Speedway USA, Japanese version. I'm really excited to add this to the collection. I don't know if I'm going to keep it sealed like this or what I'm going to do. I might unseal it and I don't know. I, I might keep it like this. I like the, you know, the yen sign and uh, everything in Japanese. And I think it's really cool. So I might keep it sealed, but I did really want to show you guys that I got a Japanese version of Mickey Speedway USA that my brother got me on his trip to Japan. So I think this is really, really cool. I'm probably going to keep it sealed. Tell me what you guys would do if you got a Japanese copy of a game. Would you keep it sealed or open it? Now, obviously, you can't play Japanese games because these are different than American Nintendo 64 games. Um, and I know people sometimes just trade off backs and all that, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm going to keep it like this. Not that it's rare or anything, just, you know, it's from Japan and the packaging and everything. And it has the the yen um, so I might just probably most likely going to keep this packaged so yeah I got Mickey Speedway USA from Japan which I think is really really awesome I was really excited when when he gave this to me I was just kind of stare he was playing Grand Theft Auto 5 on my 360 and I was just sitting there looking at I'm just doing what I'm doing now just looking at it holding it Really cool to have a Japanese copy of a Nintendo 64 game. And I thank him very much for getting me this. It means a lot. He knows I love collecting N64 games. And he asked me, he wasn't sure if I'd be worried that it was Japanese or that I couldn't play it. I don't know if he knew that I couldn't play it, unless if I swap out the back. I said, of course not. It's just, it, I think it's cool just to have a Japanese Nintendo 64 game. That's all I care about. That's it's really, really cool. And I didn't know he was getting this for me. Just I never asked him to get me anything on his trip or anything. And I, this is really cool. So what are your thoughts? Would you keep this sealed or would you open it? I might just keep it sealed. So that is the haul right here. New microphone for streaming and Mickey Speedway USA. I'll see you guys back upstairs for the outro. All right, everybody. So this is what I got. Mickey Speedway USA from Japan. And my brother got me from his trip. And the blue streaming microphone, which I can't wait to start using when I do a live stream. So there's what I got. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps out. If you're new here, you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I want to thank everybody watching. This is Evan from Transplant Gamer signing off. Bye.